Leak, leak on the beat, yo! What is up, everybody? This is your boy Keenan Burke, and I'm back with another video. As you know, if you're kicking it with KB, it's all right with me. So, y'all heard about the news. I'm excited to talk about this topic. So, basically, y'all know TK84 just got announced for a trailer itself. So, it's been about 16 years since this game came out. Like, I'm like, I am like, like ecstatic for this game to come right back out itself because I was like, what, seven? Seven or eight when this game came out. So it's more definitely a hype for the Dragon Ball community. Everybody who grew up with Tin the, Tin the Tinkaichi franchise to see that this dub, that this game is coming back itself. So I'm just going to answer a couple of questions that's just been running through my mind about Tinkaichi 4 because I know a lot of people are doing content off based off the news. And so, so I thought, let me hop up in this jump, especially. I haven't been coming with content anyway, so let's go ahead and just hop on on this vibe train. So, if you want me to do more videos like this, go into more like discussing videos about a certain topic, please comment down below. If you're new, hi, what's up? It's nice to meet you, and hopefully that you enjoy this video and my other content. Let's actually just hop up into this. So basically, I'm just gonna be kind of just saying questions itself that's kind of run through my mind about the game itself, and then kind of just gonna see like basically it's just an idea of what might happen with Tenkaichi 4 or if it'll be called Tenkaichi 4 so that's what I've just seen as a video itself if you have not seen the trailer the trailer will give you so much nostalgia feel so many goosebumps it's unreal itself but I'm gonna go ahead and get up into this itself so like I said uh, I remember playing Tenkaichi 3 itself with my with my brother and we used to be up all night. I remember we it used to like those type of games to have commercials. Like we would look, look at the commercials and then we got the game. We played it all night. School night, we got to stay up past. We just literally playing the game every single day. I have a copy of Team Hunter 3 myself. I had to get the copy back itself years later. Um, I have it on my Nintendo Wii. So I most definitely, I don't have Tenkaichi 2, that's one I need to cop just for the nostalgic feel, but I definitely need to cop that again. On to the matter of fact itself, so basically one of the questions is, what's the character roster going to be on? Because you know, Tenkaichi 1, 2, 3, they had certain character rosters that kind of started from one point and got better with each game. It, um, in Tenkaichi 1, you know, they went up to like... GT, but it only had a few select characters itself. And in TG1, you can transform. You had to choose the selected form that's like, say, you want Goku, but you want to go Super Saiyan. You cannot go Super Saiyan in TG1. You had to choose Super Saiyan form to use that character. And then it was brought on to TG2, we had a vast majority of characters. That went on, so they added a lot more characters, even more side characters. They went into more, they went more into the whole Dragon Ball, and they went got more GT characters, more original Z characters itself. So they went more fast itself. So when they went to Gotcha 3, they went all out with the story mode, giving it dialogue. Same thing with Gotcha 2, they had dialogue too, but I think they went more into it without the, the square looking boxes. In TG2, they talk, but they hit the square boxes there to like show you what they're saying. But like they actually had in cut scenes where you had interaction with the pedal like R3 in TG3 to activate certain events. Like it was, it was great and everything. So it was amazing. Uh, TG4, as far as they roster, you know it's gonna go more into Super. You know Dragon Ball Super from. The arc where they know Beerus, who's saying God, to up to determine the power, maybe even at the mang mango standard. Granola and Lord Jesus, what's his name? What's his name? The goat looking man itself, I can't remember. I It'll come back to me, or you can comment down below what it is. Uh, they can go more into the, the story of Bardock, a new story of Bardock. And everything so they can add a lot of super characters there's a lot of super characters itself 
But it's just the thing is, it's like, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, is, is it just going to be only super characters? I mean, the game could be based around super. I mean, so a character roster could be up to like maybe 30 characters. I know the past Team Kaichi game deals with over 100, maybe past 100 characters and plus their transformation forms. So it could really be like that. They could add the old aesthetics where they bring like all the, like the Goku early, the Goku mid, the Goku in, like that type of type of aesthetics to Tenkaichi 4 if they wanted to, to kind of like just get a revision of everything. But that's the thing. So we don't really know about the character roster. We know it's going to be super. That's the big thing. So we want to see, finally see the Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God, and all this stuff in Tenkaichi type form. But it's going to be a new feel because a new, you know, playstyle. style. Like I said, if you've seen the trailer, you've seen how brand new it looks. So it's definitely going to look pretty good with all the suit, the, all the other forms of everybody. I said, I'm waiting for Beast Gohan and all that, like Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I feel like all of that is going to be incorporated into that game. Another question, the platform. So as far as the platform, I don't know what platform it's going to be on. Most likely, it's going to be on the new gen console, which is like PS5 and Xbox with series. Uh, I, don't, I don't care about Xbox. I just know it's a new Xbox. <laughs> so, I'm a PlayStation guy. So, as far as that, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, more the new gen. A lot of people have been saying that this game might just be PS5 and the new Xbox series, whatever, only. But... It what gets me is that the PS4 and stuff is still relevant, and even the pricing of a PS4 and the old school and the old Xbox is still the Xbox Series X. I'm guessing what that it's called. Xbox Series X is still relevant, you know. So for them to say, oh, it's probably gonna be like only a PS5. I was like, well, a lot of games that they're still making is still making PS4 and PS5 compatible. So I mean, it's not like PS4 is dead and we haven't seen anything from it. A lot of people still have PS4. You know, PS5 recently came out and it's been hard to find, so not everybody has a PS5 yet. So, me, that's, that, I'm one of them. I don't even have a PS5. I still have a PlayStation 4. So, as far as that, if I have to get a PS5, I want to get a PS5 anyway, but, you know, I don't really want to get it just for that one game. It has to be multiple games for me to get that system. Of course, I still want to get it just in case something comes out where it's more crisp graphics and more different details than PS4. Because, you know, every gen console had its time period. So, I mean, eventually, I'm going to have to go to a PS5 to get new games. But, you know, I don't want to do it just for that one specific, specific game and everything. Uh, it took out the 4 so at least be on PS4 still and then PS5. You know what I'm saying? It still have to be deal with, oh, oh it just... Um, PS5 and Xbox Series something exclusive, and I'm like, that gonna be a hard thing. Cause I actually don't get me wrong, I still would get a PS5 if that comes to that case, but I hope that's not the case because I mean everybody don't have a PS5 and PS5. Like they're easy to come back now because literally I where I live at they have them in stores. I literally walked in Walmart and seen a PS5 like a couple of them now. Um, could have said that a couple months ago. I could not find them things anywhere so that's one of the questions like what platform will it be on will it be on ps4 and every other system it's you know switch maybe or either it just might be like the new gen ones ps5 xbox series whatever so i'm not sure and everything i'm not gonna go too in depth in the video if you want me to make another one depending on more questions i will as far as Another question, this is probably my last question that I want to kind of just bring up. The name and when would it release? Because they they put the trailer on the Dragon Ball Z Battle Hour. That's, that's the reason why everybody know that because they did it as a surprise to Battle Hour. So I did, I didn't watch, I watched a little bit of Battle Hour. I'm not, I don't watch it every time it happens. I do watch it when I can. You know, I'm not a big person like, oh, Battle Hour, I'll find out the news later. But this time, I actually kind of did watch it. I watched it from the 2004 to the 
Dragon Ball Z, Dra Dragon Ball Super Card game that's coming on uh, computer and mobile itself. It looks pretty good though. As far as the name, uh, people automatically went to Tenkaichi 4. Like in the video, the trailer reaction, it didn't currently say Tenkaichi 4. It just says a new Tenkaichi is coming. So I feel like Tenkaichi 4 would be a good deal. Cause, I mean, everybody already know like, hey, this is Tenkaichi 4. Like, especially, we ain't gonna discuss the old school nasty game. Ultimate Tail H. That's that don't even count. Like that that was the name brought on by fans. So I mean, we not even gonna count that as a Tail H. Game. That's just a, a boo boo fool type game. That's like relevant to Dragon Ball Evolution. Like what the fuck was that? So so basically so basically um we don't know the name. We are gonna go off to Tail H. Four. So I feel like that's still a good name to have because it's a continuation of it. And I feel like that's that's a good stick. And feel like everybody already went with it when TK3 ended, like when the Tense 3 was out, and so many years passed by, they were already making mods. Then the Spanish community itself were making like mods of TK4. I was like, wow, I was like, yeah, like if they make a new game, make this type of style, you know, make Tink it'll be called TK4. So that's automatically we thinking what's the name gonna be. Now, as far as release date, because, you know, they've been releasing some, some hype stuff, you know. They released um, a new Naruto game, which I'm kind of iffy about because I just want to see how much going to go into it. Uh, Naruto, X Boruto, Naruto, X Boruto, Up Ninja Storm Connections. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go too much into it. I have every single Storm game, so it's like... Do I have to rebuy another game that's related to Storm 4 where I got all the DLC for? Or do I just have to buy like an expansion where it just be called something new? Like, I'm not sure. But we're off topic itself. So yeah, like, they brought it on Lily. uh, it's probably been what, two, two or three weeks since the trailer for 204 came out. So we don't know when will it be released. Naruto's Ultimate Ninja Storm, uh, Connections, Lord, forgive me for my speech. Um, <laughs> it said that it would be coming out this year. So, and that trailer didn't come too far behind TK4. So, I mean, they could have been in big development for the class. Like it's been 16 years since this game came out. Who knows when they first thought of this idea to start working on it? They could have been working on it for years and everything, and they could have just or recently just been working on it. So I really believe they said they because they did it at the beginning of this year. So my mindset is they're gonna have to release it sometime this year. It might be like somewhere near I wanna say I'm giving like hopes maybe summer fall-ish and everything, hopefully. My main thing about it, as long as it doesn't release in 2024, that is my biggest venture. Do not release next year, cause that's gonna be a real pain. We have to wait a whole year. Cause we already been waiting 16 for a new Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi game. So it's like another year. Dang, that's that's disappointing, you know. It's so hopefully it'll be sometime this year. I wish they would have gone ahead and gave us a release trailer. Uh, I know that like in the 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 what do you call it, the V jump is up. Um, that they put Naruto Stone Connections in the V jump, and I'm surprised they didn't put anything like news wise for Tika Eighty Four. So basically, like we still waiting on new news. It's been two maybe three weeks since we last heard about anything about Tika Eighty Four, except for that trailer. So that's the only thing we have gotten from the Battle Hour. Nothing new itself. So hopefully we'll hear something new. If you want me to cover more about the Tinker IT4 and updates or anything that's going on on social media, please let me know. Uh, but as far as that, that's the only questions I'm really going to go on about. Like I said, if you want me to do another video like this, talking about discussions about Tinker IT4 or any type of game or anime, please comment down below. And I very appreciate y'all watching this. And until next time, and I will see y'all next time. Cause that's some period. <laughs> Bye guys.